Well, Tate's a very different guy. I don't yeah. think he's trying to be like me, actually. He's kind of yeah. got his own thing. He hasn't really been very girl centric. His is more, he's getting, and, he, and he's doing a totally different strategy. He's getting other people to post about him and he's doing a lot of interviews. He's, you know, they're taking controversial clips. He's, you know, he's doing like some pretty aggressive takes and stuff to get clicks. And so he's actually taking a very opposite approach of what I did. Somebody that doesn't think highly of themselves, it's very difficult to treat them well and get a positive result. Yeah. If they don't think they deserve to be treated well, yep. then you're just like, you know, digging yourself a hole. I only met him once and, you know, he was actually like, you know, honestly, he was exactly how I expected him to be. Mm. Very sharp, polite, nice, like, you know, well-spoken, you know, very respectful. And that's how I actually thought he was going to be. A lot of people would see him and expect him to be like a very different way. But like, I've just met enough celebrities and seen enough like online persona or whatever. And I've seen a lot of his interviews, you know, like I saw his first Piers Morgan and I saw his second one. And I like, you know, and I, and I talked to him after the first one. I was like, you know, I'd just be a lot more combative if I were you. This guy's being an asshole. He's clearly trying to like get in a gotcha moment, you know, and he's like not being your friend and you're, you know, being too polite to this guy. Like call him out. He's virtue signaling. Tell me signal because that's exactly what he's doing. Yep. He's douchebag. Yep. You know, because he was. He's a douchebag. You know, so it's like, you know, if the guy's acting like a jackass, tell him he's acting like a jackass. And the second time, I felt like it was night and day better, you know, because he was just like a lot more certain. And he went in there like a little bit more prepared, you know, and like Pierce is trying to do that. He's going to try and like, you know, sabotage. He's got his whole team looking at everything he's done for the last 10 years. And I would have said that to him. I'm like, listen, you know, it's real easy for you to sit here on your TV show that you're editing and try and like, you know, point out all mistakes that I've made for the past 10 years. I guarantee you, you haven't been so perfect. Like, I trust the guys that lead with their works. That's what I do. Well, Tate's a very different guy. I don't yeah. think he's trying to be like me, actually. He's kind of yeah. got his own thing. Um, you know, there's been guys that have, like, literally tried to do exactly what I'm doing or whatever. He hasn't really been very girl-centric. His is more... He's getting... And, he, and he's doing a totally different strategy. He's getting other people to post about him. Um, and he's selling like online life coaching and stuff. Um, so, and he's doing a lot of interviews. He's, you know, they're taking controversial clips. He's, you know, he's doing like some pretty aggressive takes and stuff to get clicks and, and whatever. Um, so he's actually taken a very opposite approach of what I did. I didn't do a ton of interviews. I obviously never did any life coaching. I didn't have anybody else posting my shit. Um, and, his views are a little bit different. He's like, you know, he, he, he wants girls that haven't hooked up with anybody. Um, and he also, you know, he, he, he lies to him. I tell him the truth. I mean, I, you know, not knocking his shit. It's just, we're just very different. We've got similar viewpoints on, on certain things though. And I respect his unfiltered, um, takes, you know, like I, I don't care if I agree with you or not. I respect somebody that takes a fucking like controversial, um opinion and runs with it and doesn't apologize i leave my worst shit i don't try and convince you that i'm a great guy mm -hmm. like, i may do good shit but i'm not bragging about it i worry about the guys that are bragging about all the good shit that hide all the bad shit because those are the scumbags yeah those are the guys you gotta watch out for like i guarantee pierre's got a closet skeleton skeleton yep. i yeah. promise you not me i'm not worried about shit i told you ask me whatever one of this interview and i tell that to everybody there's no question that are all limits. there's no subject i'm worried about i'm to prepare like i don't care because i'm just going to tell you the honest answer i'm going to think about it because it just it is what it is like, yeah you know, it's like, you know we don't have to remember lies we don't have to come up with some crafty answer it's just like okay like i haven't been perfect i'm not trying to say that i was and i don't think anybody is yeah so the more that you can just come own your mistakes and the shitty things about you, the more I'm going to trust you. Yeah, and that kind of goes into the whole, you know, can't turn a home to a housewife. Reason for that is because they're, you know, they're broken and their like thought process is wrong. It's not because, you know, they've fucked too many guys. It's, I mean, that's not a great thing, but like, that's not the problem. The problem is their like mentality, which led them to fuck, you know, way too many guys, right? Yeah. Because they didn't have respect for themselves or like whatever it was. Yep. So, that's you know, point. you like date damaged people and you're going to get damaged. You know, that's rare these days. Like everybody's apologizing. Everybody's fucking like putting disclaimers before they say things. Everybody's worried about being canceled. Like 
I, I'm not canceled. Yet. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't care. I don't give a shit if people stop following me. I don't give a fuck if I don't ha I don't endorse shit. I've been offered tons of fucking money to endorse things. I don't promote anything. So I'm not, you know, it's not like fucking Nike is going to cancel me. Like I wouldn't wear their fucking shoes if they paid me. So, you know, fuck those guys. And, you know, fuck all those like super fucking woke organizations. I wouldn't want to be a part of them if they fucking paid me fucking $20 million. So to me, I I'm not cancelable. I, you know, I don't like feminists. I mean, I, I don't agree with them. I mean, and so, and they probably don't like me and I don't give a fuck. I also think Andrew stood up for himself the second time more. Yeah. Bullies respond better to that. Yeah. You know, a bully gets more and more empowered every time you kind of like dance around something and they feel like they can get you or, you know, they can just keep cutting you off. You know, that's what Pierce has like bully, you know, mentality. It's like, okay, we're going to raise our voice. We're going to cut somebody off. We're going to fucking, you know, stand on this fucking, you know, virtue signaling fucking, you know, hill that we have. It's like, you know, he just does all this shit. Right. And so I think he's not going to respect somebody. He's, you know, it's like he's like a stripper to me. You know, <laughs> uh, so, strippers don't have respect for themselves. So when somebody treats a stripper really good, that stripper loses respect for that. Facts. Person. Yeah. You know, so like, but when you call them out and tell them that they're a piece of shit, and they think they're a piece of shit deep down, they'll actually respect you more. And that's why strippers always end up with fucking guys that treat them like shit because they absolutely don't feel like they're that great. So when a guy treats them how they feel like they should be treated, then they respond better. It's kind of bad for the strippers because you yeah. know it's like kind of a fucking like. You know, recipe for unhappiness. Thank you. Somebody that doesn't think highly of themselves, it's very difficult to treat them well and get a positive result. Yeah. If they don't think they deserve to be treated well. Yep. Then you're just like, you know, digging yourself a hole. Uh, I think like men should have traditional male roles, and females shouldn't be shamed for having you know traditional female roles. I don't think you know biological men should compete in women's sports like I, mean, I think fucking pretty logically i don't give a shit if you want to chop your dick off i don't care if you're gay i don't give a fuck like, every one of my assistants has always been gay like i hang out with gay people all the time i don't give a fuck like but i don't think that they should be able to compete in fucking women's sports like i don't think you should ruin women's sports i mean like a 15 year old male beat like every female record like so it's a clear advantage like we've got not only is it bone structure lung capacity like hormonal i mean it's just unequivocally men have a physical advantage so they should be separated because of that they want to have a trans division i don't give a fuck okay fine do a trans division you know they've got tons of other divisions so i don't know i, I just look at like this like oh i'm so worried about offending everybody like I, I want a virtue signal i want to show everybody how fucking good i am it's like most of these fucking cunts that are out there virtuous virtue signaling don't give a fuck about anybody but themselves. They're like super selfish assholes and they're and they're preached all this tolerance and they're the most intolerant cocksuckers on the planet.